What is up, Sooner Nation? Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Sooner Surge, where the Oklahoma softball team has just completed the win against University of Texas Arlington, 12-1, uh, to 1, run rule fashion, five innings. And just like maybe we said earlier, Hunter, on the on the pregame, it was Keeney getting the nod with Garen and Mont Monticelli uh, closing this thing out. Story of the day, obviously, Alina Torres continues her hot streak, extending her hit streak to Seven games with two bombs, absolute bombs. One to straightaway center, the other one down the left field line. Brito gets the granny, the grand slam. Uh, Hannah Core got in the action with the double. There's really a lot of good things across the board tonight. Uh, they're at Love's Field, and the Sooners get the W, 12-1, to 1, and now it sets up the, the series that a lot of people have been waiting for is OU Baylor. Yeah, uh, Alina Torres came into the night on, over her last six games going seven for 13. Tonight she had two home runs now, uh, nine for 16 in the last seven games. Seven-game hit streak, as you mentioned, uh, really kind of stole the the hype away from everyone else on the team. Like Alyssa Brito has had a very uh, good few past games. And, I mean, Alina Torres is the talk of the night with the two bombs. But got to get to the Alyssa Brito. Grand slam. That ball was crushed. I mean, as soon as she hit it, you knew that ball is – I honestly thought at first it might get out of the stadium completely. It wasn't that far down the left field line uh, from doing so. But Oklahoma, they struggled. They gave up one run in the first inning and then don't put up anything in the first. And then second inning, they played 15 and score 10 runs. Uh, that's just uh, Oklahoma softball midweek matchup. Uh, the 3-1-1 continues, as you mentioned, uh, with Keeney. S.J. Guerin, and then Peyton Monticelli to close it out and only allowing one run against UT Arlington. Yeah, and, and Torres, the second ball she hit, that's one of the fastest balls to leave the yard that I've seen in a long time. I mean, that thing was a missile. And it's almost like Torres kind of has taken the baton from Sidney Sanders' hot streak, handed it right over to Alina Torres, and now she's extremely – extremely on fire at the plate. Uh, she's, to me, securing that second base position right now. And I, I don't know how you cannot say that she's she should be the option at second base as your everyday starter. The way she's swinging the bat, she's got a good glove. And then, guys, I wasn't able to join the video earlier, but y'all called it on, on Carly Keeney. She got the start tonight. And maybe that will be where they're going to use her as a starter is the midweek uh, – midweek games. I don't know. We'll see. But I, I I liked it tonight, and we'll see what they do going forward. Yeah, I think in the midweeks, they're only going to do that when uh, you only have two days between the game. If it's yes. a Wednesday midweek, I think if it's a Tuesday midweek, you'll still ride with either Maxwell or Deal yeah. in that uh, midweek start. But having Baylor on Friday at Hall of Fame Stadium makes it really hard to let one of those uh, two pitchers go and then have to count on them against a uh, top 20 team this weekend. Yeah, and it was good to see Maya Bland get the, the pinch hit, uh, single up the middle. Uh, Ella Parker, guys, continues to, uh, I think, surprise a lot of people with her, her stolen base percentage. She she got on there and then uh, immediately stole a bag. They didn't, they didn't uh, that was the stolen base tonight. Well, was sure. it a delayed Was it a delayed still? Because the catcher kind of – Yes, uh, held the ball they, for a minute. Yes, but I, I, I'm it. considering it a stolen base, okay? So I, I, I don't care what the box score said. I am shocked that they did not count it a stolen base. They're usually very yeah. uh, home team friendly in the scoring, so I'm shocked by that one. Yeah, but, but Maya Bland getting uh, – she's been pretty hot, guys, in pinch hitting. She's done a yeah. great job. And then also Hannah Core, Hannah Core tonight with the double off the, off the wall. Uh, it's good to get you, you're starting to see you're starting to see a little more of Hannah Core, which I think is good because you don't know when you're going to need uh, extra uh, players as far as fielding or whatever. But uh, you you mentioned Keeney, Garen, and Monticelli. Look, I'm going to say this again. I probably say it every video. I love Monticelli as as someone closing the game. It's just fun to watch because she gets the K to end this thing, just blows it by the girl. Uh, Monticelli is going to be really, really special. Peyton Monticelli needs a walkout song. Like all the elite closers in baseball, they have a walkout song that they're known for with the play style of Peyton Monticelli, just an absolute flamethrower. She needs a walkout song. 
so that the opposing team knows that their time is done. Uh, once Peyton Monticelli's in the game, uh, their chances are slim to none. But I was shocked tonight as a staff, only two strikeouts, one from S.J. Guerin, one from Peyton Monticelli. That was it. Uh, so a low strikeout night for the Sooners. Yeah, I, I thought Jay was getting ready to say something. Sorry. Uh, yeah, and look, now we're we're everyone can now fully turn the attention to the OU Baylor series, which may have lost its luster a little bit based on some of the things that Baylor's been throwing out there. But everyone knows why this is so big, especially in Sooner fans' eyes, and especially in the players' eyes, is this was the team last year, the one, the solo team that got to OU last year. So I, I look for this to be a great series. For OU, I think they're going to just break, drop the hammer on the Baylor Bears. Yeah, it's the series has all the hype you can have. Uh, you mentioned last year they're both ranked. I mean, Baylor's ranked 19th by one of the polls. So a top 20 team, they were in the top 10 before the last few weeks. Uh, struggles, they lost to Kansas, all of that. And then playing at Hall of Fame Stadium on Friday night, like that's a big deal. Regular season there, games there. Like, that's a big deal for both sides. And then the loss last year to really just establish dominance against them uh, and, and not fall into that trap again. Yeah, and OU has gotten very, very comfortable already at Love's Field, uh, especially at the plate. They are putting up a lot of home runs at Love's Field. be interesting to see them leave for, for one game for Oak in the Hall of Fame Stadium. But, guys, uh, this weekend, is it going to be – Maxwell deal May again, you think? Is that is that where y'all are leaning? I honestly do not know. I I could see it staying that way, but I also could see because it's Baylor, no Maxwell May deal. I I don't know. I think it's gonna, yeah. I, I look for it, guys, to be back Maxwell deal May. That's a three I look for. And guys, I would be shocked if, if Kenzie Hansen can can go at all. She's gonna not miss this game after last year. Uh, and another thing I think you got to make note of is I think they're going to get double digits and stolen base against this catcher this weekend. I think that's something they're thinking about already is stealing bags, okay? I, I don't know if they'll have as many as we would expect. They they honestly might be gentle on it or just be hitting so many extra base hits that you don't even have a chance to steal bases. But final stats for the night, Sooner score 12 on 12 hits, five walks, three home runs tonight. Uh, the home runs come from Alina Torres and then Alyssa Brito, Grand Slam, third home run in the last few games for her, really starting to pick it up. She's up to 10 on the year, and Alina Torres is the hottest hitter on the team right now, nine for her last 16 with a few home runs added in. Yeah, and there you have it, 12-1 to 1 Sooners. In run rule fashion, which seems to be the uh, message that's being sent uh, many, many games for the Sooner Club. So OU versus Baylor Friday again. It's at Hall of Fame Stadium. So get out there. Check it out. Also check out the FanStop. FanStop.com. Use code SURGE for 10% off the shirt of the month. Make sure you're following our content. Thank you. Appreciate you. Till next time. Boomer. <laughs>